Hey you guys, so in this one I want to show you the tools that I use to run all of my VMs. And when I say VMs here, I'm talking about like Linux distro sort of VM, like com little computers basically that you could install a, a Linux distro on. You could argue that containers and stuff are also VMs. I mean they are, but for this we're talking about something that you could use to run Linux distro. So like Fedora Workstation, here's Manjaro, Ubuntu. So the first one, or I guess the one that I have here is Gnome Boxes. And Gnome Boxes is pretty cool, but overall it's a rather unfortunate tool because it's really powerful it has some really cool features but good grief it is buggy it uses kimu and i think libvirt on the back end and i guess you could say that there's a, a different ui that you could use called vert man or vert manager and it it's okay but i prefer a user tool like gnome boxes where i can just see all my vms and pick them and not have to worry about the configuration but the problem is that this is so buggy and whenever it updates, you can, it's just, it's, it's really rough around the edges. I'd prefer to use something like this because it's so darn simple, but instead I use VMware Workstation Player or VirtualBox, and it depends on what I want to virtualize. So most of you are probably familiar with VirtualBox, and you should be because it's open source, it's oftentimes available in your repos, and it's overall pretty okay, but Honestly, it's far from perfect. I use it a lot of times whenever it's uh, some obscure Linux distro. I mean, my bad, this is not Linux. This is Haiku, which is B-E-O-S, I think, or a spiritual successor to B-O-S, whatever. But it's a bit more obscure, and this doesn't run on VMware, and I, I don't know why. Like, I can't even get it to install. But over here on VirtualBox, it works right out of the box. And haha, <laughs> and it's it's like it's not lagging, it's not glitching or anything. It works great. I like to use, I like to keep VirtualBox around for that, but it's not my first choice. That, my first choice is VMware because I, I think I said already, it's, it's really performant and it's compatible when you're working with something modern. So, I mean, Windows 10 is modern. It's, it's kind of the most supported OS. And using Windows as the example here, it works perfectly, even 3D acceleration works. So back in the day before Proton was so, I guess, well supported or a mainstream, I guess Proton and DXVK is pretty mainstream now. I used to play my games in VMware Workstation Player. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's really easy to install Windows in here. It's like an easy install, so you could just like install it over and over again. But I open the DirectX diagnostic tool because DirectX version 12? Yep, that is right. This thing has full 3D acceleration which is wild. You can play up to feature level 11, which it says DirectX 12, but you can't play the latest and greatest games, but you can get pretty darn close. So when you game through this, it's using a virtual adapter. It's not actually using your GPU. So if you have Nvidia, it's not using Nvidia, it's using VMware's uh, graphics drivers or whatever, which is really impressive if you think about it. But it's not perfect, and there are some things that I can't get running on there at all. I used Haiku as an example. If I try to try to launch it, I think that it'll just get stuck. Drop to black. Yeah, I don't think it gets past this. But on the flip side, I can't get Clear Linux to run in VirtualBox, but it'll work just fine in VMware, as I can show you. So I think part of the problem is that Clear Linux wants you to use EFI and maybe VirtualBox's EFI support isn't great. But I was able to get everything installed and set up in VMware Workstation Player and I didn't have to like configure anything. So Clear Linux is just gonna hang here, I think. Like we're not gonna get any further. And then watch it hang and watch it, watch it make me a liar if it doesn't boot in over here that would be funny oh there we go yep see i've already installed it drop in clear linux is a really cool project by the way if you're not familiar with what intel is doing with uh clear linux wait a second what do you mean my password's no good what did i set it to <laughs> oh weird i have no idea why i can't get into this i don't know what it thinks my password is but Oh well, whatever, I, maybe I set it to something strange. But yeah, I guess React OS is the last one that I have to show you. I couldn't get React OS to install on either and I actually had a video planned where I was gonna talk a little bit about React OS. So I think we need to create it. 
So React OS, this is, I'm testing with 0 0.4. And yeah, so I'm gonna call it Ubuntu because it sets up the, the defaults and things for an Ubuntu box. So it's not like, it's not actually Ubuntu, but it's setting the, like the, I think it sets the disk size, but it gives me sane defaults for memory and all that other stuff. There's nothing actually Ubuntu specific that it's doing. But you can see in VirtualBox it blue screen, so that's fun. And I guess in VMware it might not even get anywhere. But yeah, I guess that's just kind of the story with, with virtualization anymore. And some things work, some things don't. And it's probably best to just have multiple tools. I would love to have just one tool. Like I said, GNOME Boxes is my preferred tool, but it's just so buggy. And the bugs are pretty bad, like, uh-oh. Oh, I think my whole, oh, okay, gnome box. So actually look at that, gnome boxes is locked up. So to be fair, I'm doing a lot of virtualization right now. So it, it might be, get, my system just might be like really pissed off at me. Let's shut this stuff down. <laughs> I just, I don't know if you saw it, I just tried to shut that down. It told me I couldn't, but this is actually a pretty cool thing. I've got all these VMs running with different hypervisors. Yeah, gnome boxes came back. So I actually bet that was a resource collision. I'm trying to do all sorts of crazy stuff, but anyways, I thought this would make for a fun, a fun little, little eclectic video for you all. I know we're kind of all over the place, but I wanted to show you some of my tools. We could do a deeper dive on how I set up some of my VMs. Oh, here you go. Oh, this is Haiku. Oh, we made it to the installer. No, this isn't Haiku. It's called Haiku, but this is React OS. Wow, this is a mess. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. This is getting a little out of control. We'll shut windows down and we'll wrap this video up. Uh, if there's anything you want me to dive deeper in, like I said, maybe the VM configuration or doing some, I could go back and do some 3D gaming in a VM if you're interested in that, just let me know. So if you liked it, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time in the next video. See ya.